Okay, the Speedo um, gear drives back together. I made a mark here. This is adjustable. But I made a mark here so I knew where to line it up. Um, that's okay. I knew from memory where to put it. But uh, with the cleaning process, the, uh, the mark on this side has been washed off. But there definitely hasn't been any sort of fire with this uh, with this fuse box. Um, it's just old electric grease they probably put on the, at the factory, and uh, she's all good. This truck was built in um, the fourth month of uh, 1977 at uh, California. Okay, so that's the first setting. The, uh, the third setting. indicator on. And the other side. Okay, looking at the lights, the right hand side looks um, brighter. And that's high beam, so Looks like the globe on the left isn't good. Okay, that'll be tomorrow morning's uh, work. I'm just to uh, look into that light, why it's so dim. I've got a battery in the way. Um, I thought it was working before, so uh, I'll have a look tomorrow. Um, this is high beam. And low beam. So high beam and low beam. Okay, it's the next morning. I've um, gone through the back of the fuse box there and uh, reinstalled it. And um, it's the same thing with the headlights. Um, I think that's high beam and I think that's low beam. But to do that I've got to remove the battery and uh, possibly the battery tray. It's a little inconvenient. Of course if it was the other side then uh, <laughs> there'd be tons of room but uh, I suppose that's life. Okay I've got a drop sheet and uh, something to put all the parts in. And uh, as always remove the negative battery cable first. 
Okay, so I've got to remove the battery holder to uh, replace the globe. Okay, so there it is. That's some previous work I did because of the rust uh, created from the battery acid. And uh, that's it there. So I should just be able to twist that and it'll come out. Or the, the power supply cable uh, set up here will just be able to pull that off the back. Well, you won't believe this. Um, you actually can't change the globes in these. You have to buy the entire uh, headlight. So the globe's built into this, uh, into the front headlight. Yeah, that's incredible. I was expecting just to put one of these in. It's got the same connector. So instead of 15 bucks, it'll be, you know, a hundred something dollars. Okay, with the battery connected outside the car, I'll turn the keys um, to on and put the lights on. And we see that on this side it's fairly dim. And on this side with a brand new bulb it's fairly bright. I'll put it on high beam. And there's no difference. Okay, I'm getting to the bottom of it now. Um, with the same new globe in this side. We'll go to the other side. And that's dimmer. So I still don't know. Okay, the light grounds are... Let's see, it's just uh, just there. That's the left-hand side ground. And the right-hand side ground is, uh, is that one there. So I'll give them both a clean up and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, so this bolt was really rusted in there, in the thread. Um, I've ground, uh, got rid of the paint and cleaned up the, uh, the terminals with this uh, Dremel and the sandpaper, the second size up. Um, there's one with a smaller diameter, this is the second biggest one. And it's a fairly coarse uh, grit sandpaper and it does a fantastic job of uh, removing paint and um, rust. Okay, all the terminals and uh, and everything's got a uh, a coat of grease. Okay, um, so that's uh, that ground's done. That's all good. Um, I noticed that there is a lead running down here that runs down to the frame down there. And that's a fairly old... I mean, it hasn't been cleaned uh, for a while, so might as well clean it now. Also, the, the right side uh, light ground has got this other lead and uh, it comes off here and it it wasn't actually connected to the frame before but uh, you know I put some solder on it and uh, and grounded it to the frame
as you can see um, this fixing point didn't have much uh, grounding contact point on it uh, just a little bit there on the left there but then the uh, this is very corroded and the frames uh, a bit rusted so there would have been almost nothing there well, I'll clean this up uh, with a wire brush the nut and uh, I'll sand off the, uh, the frame area and this uh, this lead contact point and um, you know just smear some grease all over it and tighten it up Okay, over on the left hand side, for the left hand side light ground we've got uh, this one, this nut just here, this fixing point, so I'll remove that now. One thing I noticed is that um, although the nut was uh, fairly hard to get out, um, this earth, this fixing point is very, uh, in very good condition. Also there's the light there and this is the ground and uh, you can see that's very clean too so I'd say that would be the reason why this light was working better than the other side Well this is a surprise, um, this time it's dimmer on the right hand side, just as before, and there's no high or low beam. That's, uh, that's very bright. And that one is dim. Okay, so what happened was, uh, I removed the bulbs and just uh, connected up to the lights. Um, this side didn't work at all at first and then I connected this one also but as I moved it, it, uh, it worked. So that's a fix. Um, the problem was the ground um, but there could be something still up with the terminals to plug into the back of the uh, the light. Yeah, I wasn't sure then, but the high beam and low beam do work, so that's definitely a fix. Um, however, just the back of the terminals here, um, that could be a problem in the future or uh, I'd just like to clean that up if I could. I was able to clean up these terminals with a wire brush at the back of the light but this connector is a little bit harder to um, clean up the terminals. So after um, removing the terminals at the back and putting them on the, uh, the right side doesn't work so I'll just uh, it seems to be on on really well. I'll just uh, 
move it around, and there we go. And it's on. If I move it at the back, I can actually, I can get it to uh, stop working. I lift it up, and it comes on. Actually, this is where the battery sits, and it sits up hard against these uh, wires here, so I'd say that it'd have a lot to do with it. Okay, so while I'm here, I'll try and do the ground for the, um, the heater fan. Okay, that's the heater fan ground. That's redone, so uh, that might overcome some problems in the future, and uh, might be able to get that original fan going again, I, I don't know yet.